As a photographer, even though I like to go to new places to shoot, I actually prefer to go back to more familiar places at least once a year. Now, Bournemouth on the south coast of the UK is one such place, and it's about as far removed from our part of the coast as you can get. I know the light there, I know the environment, I know my way around, and I can kind of hit the ground running. But I'm always looking for something different to shoot from the last time that I was there. Now, coming back to Bournemouth this year, it kind of felt a little different to the past. I'm not sure if it was the time of year we visited, but it definitely had more of an early season feel to it, even though it was early July. Now, on this particular day, the sun was out, it was a very warm day, and there was no cloud cover. The light was incredibly harsh because the sun was so high in the sky. It wasn't ideal for street photography. Nevertheless, I decided to start the day in town. After a while, I kind of gave up because there was very few people there, lots of boarded up shops, the light was awful. It was really shaping up to be kind of a dead loss in terms of photographs, and this actually happens a lot. But one of the things I realized very early on in my career is that you have to keep looking for that shot. And if at the end of the day, you don't get anything interesting, that's actually okay as long as you didn't give up looking for a photograph. Now, given town was so bad, I decided to make my way to the beach and have a walk along the promenade between the two piers. And honestly, it was the same thing happening there. There wasn't a lot of people around. There wasn't anything worth shooting until I came across this lady with an umbrella who was sitting down. As I walked past her, I took the shots and I, I was happy. I'd got something that looked okay and honestly, that really did feel like a small success. Obviously, this buoyed me up a little bit and I decided to walk along a bit further and saw an outside bar area with a guy on the phone in a baseball cap. I just put my camera to the eye, pressed the shutter and walked on. Now, I'll be honest, this image didn't really register with me when I took it. The one with the lady and the umbrella was the one that I remember from the day, but it was only when I looked back at the images much later that I realized I had a shot that I actually preferred. And sometimes when shooting, we can get an emotional attachment to an image or a situation, and that can take over. And when you get back to looking at your pictures, you immediately try and find that photograph which you saw on the day. And this is why I like to look at my images weeks after I've shot them, so that I can look at the whole set with a completely fresh set of eyes. More often than not, the photographs that I thought were gonna be really good aren't, and it's always something that I took almost without thinking that tends to be a better photograph, which is the case here. So this image is all about line and shape. It's all about contrast, highlights, and shadows. It's very difficult light to work with. So to get all of this in one frame with some good composition, I'm very happy with that. And for those YouTube users who continue to question whether it's possible to work quickly while walking past a scene and still compose an image properly, this is the original DNG and you can see that the image hasn't been cropped at all. Mm -hmm. 